first arrive they go over to our sport scientist and he takes the general anthropometric measures so looking at the body mass um, and the height of the player and then further to that they'll do a body comp assessment um, and the reason why we do this is so that we can get an estimation of um, how much of the body mass is made up of muscle and how much of the body mass is made up of fat. The VO2 max tests help more with that um, we get an idea of where they're at with the fitness wise with that so it, it measures the amount of oxygen they can take in and utilize but in more general terms we're just looking at um, their aerobic fitness and where they're coming back at and that just allows us to set the conditioning drills appropriate to the player so that we know that whenever they are doing any conditioning drills or they're working in training in small sided games that they're working at an appropriate level that, that pushes them on um, and we don't really lose any time within them because we have only got quite a short pre-season. pre-season test and then the VO2 max test, how did that feel? Yeah, it felt, it felt alright, but it's a bit of a shock to the system on your first day back, but once you got through it, you feel a lot better for doing it. Um, felt worth it for the, for the results you find out and the information you get from it ahead of yeah. the season? Yeah, it's good, it gives you a level where you're at and then look at the results and hopefully build on it and get better scores when I next do it. I'm um, looking forward to the challenges ahead in the current season? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, I'm glad to be back now. Can't wait to get stuck in. Yeah, max is just going now, have you got any tips for him? Just run. <laughs> just run, that's all I can do, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Josh, your first taste of a, a VO2 max test, how did that feel? Very hard, probably the hardest thing I've ever done, like fitness wise. I don't think it'll get much harder than that, to be honest. Well, I hope not, anyways. Good start to, to pre-season. Yeah, it's not bad, but I've been doing my own bits anyway, so just trying to get used to it, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it now. Is it a mental as well as a physical test on that treadmill? Yeah, especially when like you've got people shouting, like keep going, but it's just all in your head, to be honest. When it gets, starts to get harder, it's just all in your head. And when you stop, what's that feeling like? Is it just your tiredness? Yeah, like now I, I just feel dead, like my whole body's just empty, but it's good. It's, obviously, it'll get us fitter and get better for the season coming. sports science quite heavily with, with the academy, um, especially the 18s, 21s, they get monitored during training, during games, so it just means that any time we use the GPS we can be more specific with that player and we have a better idea of, of when they're high speed and in, what, what speed they're going to be sprinting at, where we need to set the heart rate zones, um, just so again we can be more individualised with each player rather than blanketing them with the same same zones and, and same conditioning sessions. They'll come and do the VO2 max test again and that's more for, for the staff really. That's more to critique the staff, to critique the programmes that we put in place, to see that um, if what we've done and what we, we suggest is the right thing to do, whether it's had the, the desired effect on the players' um, physical capacity and whether they've improved at the level that we want them to. Yeah,